Well, even though it's the end of June, I've had Christmas on my mind lately. I think it all started this past Sunday when the church celebrated the solemnity of the birth of John the Baptist. Recall that the way that we date Christmas, the reason why it happens at the end of December is because of its proximity to the winter solstice, when the light starts to return, when the days get longer after the solstice, the light coming into the world. We date the birth of John the Baptist as a photo negative of that. After the summer solstice, the light starts to dissipate each day. And it reminds us of John's great testimony. He must increase and I must decrease. But I think it is today's memorial as well. The memorial of St. Irenaeus of Lyon, bishop and martyr, that also has me thinking of Christmas on these warm days here in Boston. Among the many brilliant things that Irenaeus wrote, one that has always stuck out in my mind was one that I came across as a younger Jesuit when I was visiting my friend, Father Joseph Costantino, the pastor of St. Ignatius. And I saw a beautiful piece of calligraphy on his wall that used a line from Irenaeus. And it said this, in his abiding love for us, Jesus Christ became what we are so that we might become what he is. In his abiding love for us, Jesus Christ became what we are so that we might become what he is. In a nutshell, this is the message of Christmas. This is the message of the incarnation. And whether it's the end of December or the end of June, or any other time in any other month. It's good to be reminded of this. And it's good to be reminded of how those two things are connected. It's not that Jesus Christ became who we are and we might become who he is. It's not that Jesus comes and says, I'll trade you a divine card for a human card. It's that Jesus becomes who we are so that we might become who he is. It's through Jesus' becoming human, becoming limited, becoming finite, becoming susceptible to sickness, to disease, becoming vulnerable to the sadness of the death of a loved one, becoming hungry, becoming thirsty. It's through becoming human that Jesus gives us the possibility of becoming divine. Like all gifts, this also presents a challenge. And the challenge to us is this, that we would embrace our humanity, which can be difficult to do sometimes. But to know that in so doing, we not only imitate Jesus, we actually become Jesus. We become what he is by being who we are. And so let's pray for the grace that that counsel of Irenaeus, that in his abiding love for us, Jesus Christ became who we are so that we might become who he is, that this would always be for us words to know, but words to live as well.